What's going on YouTube, Gias right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss whether you should update to iOS 12 if you're waiting for a jailbreak and you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1. I made a similar video back in August, but at that point in time, we did not have a lot of information to talk about. We did not have a lot of information to use in order to tell whether we should update or not. But at this point, we have quite some info. At that point in time, we only had Umang's exploit that he announced on Twitter for the iOS 12. And as you probably know, when a kernel exploit is available for a specific iOS version, a jailbreak should be quite trivial. Well, it's not always the case though, because Apple can update things to make post-exploitation harder. So they can add quite a lot of mitigations, like to pretty much put a stop to the fake signing or self-signing or anything related. So of course, it's not only the kernel exploit that matters. But of course, now we also have Simon Ferrini's exploit. Of course, he made it with JN Doc, which is also for the iOS 12 for the latest version of the beta. And at this point, it's quite clear that iOS 12 does have quite a lot of importance in the iOS security. And if you take a look in here, Proteus has posted this picture like a month ago, back on August 10. What this means? Well, he pretty much got CDR running perfectly fine on an iPhone 6 probably. Yeah, I think it's an iPhone 6. And it was pretty much iOS 12, a beta, probably an early beta at that point and he managed to jailbreak it with CDR completely. So iOS 12 has been and is currently a very good version for jailbreaking. However, if you take a look in here, iOS 11.4.1 is currently signed and a lot of people are waiting on iOS 11.4.1 because iOS 11.4, although has an exploit, which is a sandbox escape, not a kernel exploit, just a sandbox escape, but has one, it's no longer signed. So you cannot downgrade to iOS 11.4 even if you wanted to. But what if you're already running on iOS 11.4 or 11.4.1? Well, it's tough to say. None of these people in here that I mentioned, that being Umang or Simon Ferrini or Proteus, have mentioned anything about their exploit running on anything older than iOS 12. Now, naturally, I would assume it would probably run on iOS 11.4. 4.1 and 11.4 if the vulnerability exploited is not present only on iOS 12, which I somehow doubt, but it's definitely a possibility. So in that case, the exploit would work only on iOS 12 and it would pretty much lock up the iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 people. However, I wouldn't update just now. Stay on iOS 11.4 for the moment, or iOS 11.4.1, and if you see anything moving in the jailbreak community towards an iOS 12 jailbreak, like an exploit release or an announcement, of course I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community so that you will know, you will probably be able to update at that point. iOS 12 will be signed for quite a while, so that shouldn't really be a problem unless they burn out the exploit for a beta, which would be pretty dumb to do. But anyways, there are chances that iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 can use the same exploits these people have created for the iOS 12. And in that case, it would make post-exploitation a little bit easier because on iOS 12, Apple has changed quite some things, making post-exploitation a little bit harder than it was on iOS 11.4, iOS 11.4.1, iOS 11.3.1, and so on. So I wouldn't update just now to the iOS 12 betas or to the iOS 12. I would give it a few more days and I would pretty much wait for a major event like a release of one of these exploits or an announcement that somebody will take this exploit and build a jailbreak with them. Of course, as I said, I'm going to keep you updated with that. But for the moment, do not update. Even though iOS 12 looks quite okay and all these people have already managed to exploit it and pretty much get a jailbreak going, I'm speaking here about Proteus, there is no word yet on a release. And although two of these exploits will be released for sure, that's not a guarantee that there will be a jailbreak right away. So do not update for the moment. Now, this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare, and they're currently having a giveaway where you can win the new iPhone 2018. All you have to do is to go ahead in here on the link in the description down below, and they have three contests. You select the third one in here, and all you have to do is to vote whether the new iPhone will be called iPhone 9 or iPhone 11. You choose in here, and that will pretty much be 
be it. You get to enter their giveaway and if you are selected you can win the brand new 2018 iPhone. The link will be in the description down below. Check them out and good luck. Thank you for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community to help you make the best decision for you and for your device. And of course till the next time I'm Gio Snell. Peace out.